Davion Taylor going against Oregon. First play, um, Oregon are throwing the football. Line up right outside the tackle here, dropping in a hook to curl zone. We got man uh, from the other two here. Now, it's a tough position. It's a good thing he's keeping his inside. Now, he's looking out here to see what their out combination is going to be. Is anyone going to come inside like that? And you got this guy playing man, and it's important. He keeps the inside uh, leverage on it here. Now, as soon as the quarterback breaks to the side, that's when he breaks as well. So he's covering the inside of the receiver going into the end zone right there. Another rep here in his zone coverage where he's dropping out uh, to the flat. Now, notice that he bumps this uh, the slot receiver here before he's going inside. And that's a really good thing for him to do because it helps the safety right here is going to come down on it. So the quarterback can't just deliver the ball to, to the receiver just as he makes his cut. Now he's looking out there. Now he's rerouting him, taking away the quick inside for him. That allows the safety to come up a little bit more so he can't just throw it in there immediately. And like we've seen before, when he's going up against wide receivers here, we'd like him to use his, uh, his hands a little bit faster to get off the blocks instead of dancing this much with the guys. So on 4th and 4 here, he's got uh, back out the backfield main coverage. Um, and notice the tight end who's coming in here, creating some traffic that he has to readjust over. But he gets out there nicely anyway. Now even if that would have been a catch, he would have been right there to make the tackle. Would have gotten the first down, obviously, don't know. But he's right there to make the play. This is good to see, and it's something you expect to see from Davion Taylor, knowing how physical a linebacker he is. Um, Oregon running an outside power here, so the, the guard is going to pull over, and that's a big guard to stand right there. So Davion is the outside linebacker. He's got the force, so he's the outermost um, gap defender. Now he's coming up here. He's stoning uh, the guard right there with his inside shoulder, having that outside balance. Now, would he be able to make that tackle? Not sure, but the strength and the willingness to go in on a big guy is something you really need to see uh, from linebackers, especially when they're playing outside, because that shows some of the ability you would normally see from, from, from inside linebackers, but from the outside to the spot, to be able to have that physique as well is great. Another run right here where uh, the tight end this time is going to release up to, to Davion. Now, I really uh, like what he does here. Again, outside most defender, uh, he's feeling the outermost gap, no matter who's coming out there. This time it's the tight end. So notice that when he engages on him, he first gets the pop, then he's releasing with one arm, so just keeping one arm on the guy, and he's got the base right here to play the outside with the running back going in there. So you relying on the, the rest of the guys to have their gap responsibilities, Davion does his part right here. So here you're showing that speed of slot receivers can be too much on crossing routes. The crossing routes are the most uh, the most hard to keep on because the guy is running straight line speed. There's no one in between them, uh, and usually you're going to have some traffic as you're running there. So he's releasing out here, finding the slot receiver um, coming on the crossing route there. And the moment he's at speed, he's turning. So he's already behind a little bit there. Now he's not that far away. He's extending for it. Like got all or nothing play. He's not going to make the tackle if he, he catches and runs in for the touchdown anyway. So you can push it. He's making the effort to try and get that. But simply get speed a little bit with speed in the slot. So Oregon running a sweep right here. And you basically have a lead blocker in the running back. And then you got the, the tight end and the left tackle to seal the edge or the wing that guy is. Okay, now how do you fit this? Taylor's lined up here. You want your gaps fitted. So Taylor's the outermost guy outside the tight end. Then you have either the safety here and the outside linebacker to fit on the outside of the tackle inside the fullback and outside the fullback inside of the wing. Then you want your linebacker here to fit inside the guard. And Taylor's the first guy to always meet his tight end. He's lined up right out there. This guy you want to fit right in between here. So outside the tackle, inside the fullback there, and you want your linebacker here to just blast out there. And this simply just have a little bit too much speed on it. Here Oregon getting theoretically a touchdown on Taylor. You're bringing five guys in pressure, got everybody lined up here at the, uh, at the line of scrimmage. Bringing five guys, dropping six into, into coverage. I believe that we're running a cover six right here. We got two uh, skiff defenders really, so they're playing the seam and they're going to the flat. It's, it's so much threatening that. You got this guy dropping into the to the to one of the flat skiff uh, zones over here. You got this guy dropping into the skiff. You got this one deep, this one deep, this one deep. And um, Taylor would be the three-hole defender who is making sure nothing comes like over the middle in terms of a fastball. You want your one guy over the middle. Now this safety right here, I don't know why he relates so much to the three receiver side that the middle deep uh, gets ex gets exposed enormously. 
and they're counting on basically is for Taylor, who's lined up here, to go into a three hole and cover the slot receiver. He has to turn his hips, run, and cover him before he gets to the end zone. Now, he, he can't deliver the fastball like he wants to. There's no one here over the top to help Taylor out. And then you got two guys at the deep zones over there. So that's just a terrible situation for a linebacker. Once again, here, needs to get off the block a little bit more of the wide receiver. With faster dancing too much. Awesome effort play uh, from Taylor here. So he is just engaging up on uh, on the tight end. And disengaging on. There's a wide open gap for the running back. This is just a foot race. And Taylor manages to catch him, catch him I think at around the 15 yard line. That's just great effort. 